What up, guys? Once again, we got another motherfucking hater. And, and it's sad. And just so you guys can see who I'm talking about, I'm going to invite all of you guys and him into this video. Man, this is, this is, I shouldn't even be having to do this, but it is what it is. You want me to invite some of you guys in here? Because I know some of you guys do like to watch this, that's why I say and take the time to do this. What up, Sam? What up, Margaret? And you know what? I am going to get the dude that instigated this shit in here just because of the fact that I want him to see what's really going on. There we go, I invited him in, but if you guys want to know what happened last night is last night I was talking to you guys and explaining to you guys how I can compare my life and how I feel when I'm on, you know, on stage or, you know, recording, how I can compare my life into, you know, like being a fighter or a boxer, which is true. Because in a lot of ways, I am a fighter. You know, and I was doing it calmly, not bothering anybody. Just explaining to you guys so you guys understand my life a little better. And this motherfucker, Andrew Jordan, starts running his fucking mouth out of nowhere. Out of pure nowhere. And I mean... He started saying some real, real awful things like how when I was explaining to you guys how I almost died at birth, how I shouldn't have lived, he sat there saying I shouldn't have lived and just talking all this real cruel shit, which Steph, I am going to send you the screenshots. I did get screenshots of the comments of him and his friend Dylan. Talking shit, Sam, I'm going to be sending it to you, Margaret, you as well. But, like, this guy started running his fucking mouth. And, you know, I went through the whole live stream and shit. And then, you know, afterwards, some people jumped in and said some shit in the comments on their own. I had absolutely nothing to do with what they said or did. You know, that's on them. Like, my older sister, Sally Ann, she jumped in and said something on her own. Because if you guys know, um, my sister, Sally Ann, she does jump in and watch the live streams from time to time. So, shout out to my sister. Love you, sis. But she jumps in and watches the live streams from time to time and seeing what this guy was saying. And on her own, she jumped in and said something. And this morning, like, you know, after all that was done and over and shit, you know, like last night, laid down, watched a little bit of anime and passed out. This morning, I wake up, I get a fucking rude ass message from that guy, Andrew, that was talking shit. He was like, you know, make sure you can back up what you're saying, blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And I thought it's on him. I'm like, and it's completely true, man. So, Andrew, if you're all watching this, this is, you know, the complete truth, man. I can back up what I say. 
I don't just sit there and say shit that I can't do because everything I say I can do, I either have done or I can do. So your little fucking game with you talking shit, what you fail to realize is everybody that jumped on your shit, they did that on their own, not me. Because they either seen it or I tagged them in a post. And you're probably thinking, well, why tag everybody in post? That's getting people involved. No, it's not. I'm just tagging people, okay? Whether they, ch- <clears throat> Whether they jump your shit or not, dude, that's on them. So you want to fucking sit there and be a little bitch and talk shit? Say it on the mic, not to me. Because let me tell you something, they jumped in on their own. I said nothing to them. So before you drop my shit saying I can't back up what I say or do, huh, why don't you take a, and take a goddamn look in the mirror? And I do apologize for swearing my words, guys. It is a bit stuffy, which I'll take care of that right now. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. Like, this motherfucker sits there, runs his goddamn mouth, acting like he knows me, acting like he's better than me, and all this shit. And honestly, last night after I read some of the comments he said, I'll admit, it took everything in me not to fucking break down. That's how fucked up and hurtful those comments were. And normally, I don't break down like that. I really don't. Normally, I just blow it off and it's like, hey, whatever. You know, say what you want. I don't give a fuck. But with those comments last night, it was beyond anything. That's like some of the, literally, some of the cruelest comments I have ever gotten in my entire life. And it, it really hurt. Even now, just thinking about it, it's like, what the fuck? Like, who in the hell could stoop that low? Like, you know, it's guys like this that make me question my career in music. It's guys like this that make me want to turn around, say fuck this gaming, and go back to doing YouTube gaming videos. But then when I turn around, I think about it, and I have these people telling me, don't, you know, quit. It's, it's kind of hard not to... It's kind of hard to quit and not turn around and be like, you know what, you're right, I can't let this guy get to and get something like that. But when you're looking at it from my perspective and everything that I've gone through in my entire life and seeing what this man said, it's like, what the actual fuck? What up, Christy and Steph? I do apologize for not catching your comment. What's up? As a matter of fact, Christy was here in the live stream when Andrew was going off. And so, like, you know, it it really pisses me off because Andrew doesn't realize that I'm a fighter at heart because of what I went through. Even though I wasn't supposed to live, I'm still here doing my thing for you guys. And I swear to God, if I get this comment one last time, I'm going off on somebody. Which is the fact that this is not beer or any kind of alcohol. This is motherfucking iced tea. It's sweet homemade iced tea. I don't know where the fuck y'all get, like, I I get why it looks like alcohol because of the color, but dude, it's iced tea. I swear to God, man, too many of y'all fucking drink. But point being, guys, back on topic. 
you know, that's what I said last night, and it's completely true. I am like a fighter when it comes to everything I do. Because I've got something to prove more than anyone. Because of the way I am, because of how society treats me, how record labels treat me, I got a lot more to prove than people realize. Because of how I am with society judging me. I mean, yeah, I've been bashed on before, but never to this level. This is something far worse than I have ever imagined in my life. It's like, what in the actual fuck was he thinking when he did this shit? And as I said, Andrew, anybody that jumped your shit last night, that was on them. I had nothing to do with it. Whether it was my sister, whether it was a friend, whoever jumped your shit, that was on them. I did not say a goddamn word to anyone. Okay? They automatically jumped in. And that right there shows you loyalty. That there shows you what my fans can do and what my family will do. If you're not careful, along with my friends. You know, it's fucked up. I was trying to have a nice morning. You know, I just woke up. I was trying to have a good morning until I seen that fucking message from you, dude. I don't know what the fuck your problem is with me, but you need to get over it. Like, I didn't do a damn thing to you. And for you to fucking call me out like that, like, who the fuck are you? Like, and it's sad because, you know, I thought we were cool. I really did. Until last night. Last night when you did what you did, that's when shit went bad. That's when you fucked up, started talking the shit that you were talking. Like, it really does need to stop. You know, you have no idea how bad that hurt when you said what you said. Like, you don't know what life is like for me. You really don't. So really, dude, you need to put yourself in my shoes and think about how I feel. And think about how other people feel before you start running your fucking mouth like you did. Start thinking about their life. And what they went through. And why they are the way they are. See, I can't help that I am the way I am. I can't help that I have to fight every fucking day just to get a little bit of something somewhere. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. No, I'm not talking dirty minded. I'm actually talking, you know, record labels, gigs, you know, that type of deal. But, like, you know, you don't realize how hard I have to fucking fight every damn day. Every day is a constant fight for me, dude. Every fucking day. Every day I wake up, I do my thing, I step in the booth, I record, I release music, I write music, I compose my music every fucking day. Whether I'm writing, recording, or composing a track. Every day, I'm doing something music-wise. And honestly, if you have any shred of decency, you'll fucking step up and apologize for what you did. Because I know if I was you, I'd be apologizing for that shit. Because, see, what you fail to realize, Andrew, is that I put in more hard work and effort into this shit than anybody ever could on any given day. Like, you don't understand. Honestly, I'm not beginning to wonder if you're fucking as dense as a rock. Because, like, you obviously don't fucking get it. And if you guys want to look up this Andrew Jordan guy, you can find him on my Facebook. He's easy to find. And if you guys want to check out the screenshots from last night, I did post them up. 
So, yo, if you all want to time, want to check those out. Um, for those of you that are into my gaming videos, I will be uploading today. Um, I did record a new song last night. It's not as good as my normal stuff, but it's still pretty dope. So, y'all can head over to my music channel if you haven't yet. If you do have the link. If not, let me know. Um, if you don't have the link to my gaming channel, either message me and I will send it to you. But for those of you that did stick up for me last night without me even knowing it or realizing it, I want to say thank you guys. You guys are amazing. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to start getting to working on some stuff. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, whether it's a gaming video or music or a song yet. I don't know. I'll think of something. I'll probably wind up doing the gaming video and then the music after. I don't know. But with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you to all y'all who have stuck up for me last night. Without me, you would say anything. That was awesome of you guys. Love y'all. And I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.